Welcome back to my channel, No For All Productions. My name is E, and if you're into sneakers and music, you're in the right place. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out this video, and if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, leave me a comment in the comment section discussing what we're talking about in this video, which is a sneaker review. It's been a while, as you can tell by the logo. These are Kobe's. These are the Kobe 4 Pro Tro. Um, and the girl dad colorway. So without further ado, let's take a look at the shoe bars All right, here is the shoe right here Now these are like I said these are Kobe 4 Pro Trolls and the girl dad is the name of the shoe colorway of this shoe was inspired by um, the outfit well the hat and the shirt Kobe had on at his last Laker game with his daughter Gigi, maybe a month before his uh, untimely passing, so un their untimely passing. So, before we get any further, let me just say rest in peace to Kobe, to Gigi, everybody else on that helicopter that day. So, just before we get too deep into this, let me just send the RIP out to them. So, they will be missed definitely. So, let's take a look at the shoe, the whole top portion of the shoe is in that um, bi-coastal colorway. Nice materials on here. Suede, little uh, backstroke action on here. Black laces. The tongue has the Mamba logo in silver right there. Also the insoles of the shoe is in orange to represent the orange sweater the WNBA sweater that Kobe was wearing that day. And on the tongue, as you can see right here, focus up on that. It says girl dad in cursive. So, you know, Kobe was heavy on being a girl dad because he had all girls. So, when I saw this shoe and the theme behind the shoe, definitely wanted to cop these. Due to the fact that I am a girl dad, I have two daughters. And, and the green on this shoe was based off of his green Eagles beanie so I am a huge Eagles fan so that was like a no-brainer when I saw this dope shoe the swish on here is like also uh, like a new buck not as good as the suede around the rest of the shoe but it is uh, like a new buck nice right there swoosh the um, back the hill around the hill they have like the chrome plate around the hill and if you look close right there, you can see the number 24, which was Kobe's number. The bottom of the shoe is nice and icy, man. Nice translucent bottom. Has that carbon plate, kind of like the Jordan 12 right there. Everybody love to do that. <laughs> I mean, the tongue is like a mesh, mesh material around the tongue. Now, when it comes to sizings with, with, sizing with Kobe's, they like, people like to say go up a half size. I can see why. I go true to size in my Kobe's. They do fit snug if you do go true to size. So if you want a little space, I would recommend going up a half size. But I like mine's a little snug. And then once you wear them a while, they kind of mold to your foot. They get a little more comfortable the more you wear them. But for sizing, if you want space, go up a half size. But if you like a snug fit shoe, then go true to size. Because I want true to size on mine's. And on the right shoe, it's pretty much the same exact as the left shoe, but there's one difference on the, on the right shoe. And on the back, they have um, his uh, signature right there on the back of the uh, chrome plate on the right shoe. Overall, dope shoe, man. No extra sets of laces with these, just the black laces. I really like this shoe for one, I am a girl dad. I have two daughters. And two, I am a huge Eagles fan, so this will go perfect with a nice Eagles jersey. With the season coming up soon, hopefully we can um, run it up. We got Saquon, you know, Hurts. We got some. We should be getting some rushing yards in the backfield this to, this year. So AJ Brown should be healthy, but I'm not gonna get too much into that. But go Eagles! So I'm glad to have this in my collection. The Kobe 4, this is actually my first Kobe 4 shoe. I have a few Kobe 8s, a couple Kobe 6s, Kobe 5 as well, but no Kobe 4. So this is my first Kobe 4 shoe. 
This is very different than the typical Kobe 4 shoes. Usually Kobe 4 shoes, like I said, they're, they're pretty much usually leather. But uh, this side panel right here around the swoosh area is usually like a fly knit type of material. Well, not fly knit, but like a, like a plasticky material around the side. So this one is like all suede, you know, up on the upper, which is dope. I like this color, man. This is definitely going to get a lot of play with me this uh, football season. This might be my Sunday shoes <laughs> all football season, you know, when the Eagles are playing. So, yeah, dope shoe. Glad to have this in the collection. They do say Girl Dad on both tongues in cursive on the back of both tongues of the shoe. I mean, really nice shoe. I like shoes that come with good themes or stories behind it or, you know, just different than the regular version of the shoe when they try to you know make something different i really appreciate that uh, when it comes to quality control i do have a few glue stains more so on the left shoe than i see on the right shoe well i see some on the right shoe as well but i mean when it comes to nike yeah definitely i see some on the right shoe as well around the uh around the toe box going into the bottom of the shoe but when it comes to Nike, you know, with these mass produced shoes, we tend to get accustomed to that. So, I mean, we talk junk, but at the end of the day, these shoes are still going to sell out like hotcakes. So, Nike's going to keep doing what they want to do with that. But um, I'm glad we, we're getting a lot of Kobe's this year, which is dope. This is my first pickup of uh, Kobe this year for myself. I did hit on um, the eight Kobe 8s for my wife. But last year I hit on the reverse Grinches, which I'm still hyped about. But yeah, like I said, this is my first Kobe 4. Dope shoe right here. I love the theme. I love the story behind this shoe. And like I said, they have a gray Mamba logo right there on the tongue. And it's also the same color gray Mamba logo on the inside of the shoe. Dope shoe. Thank you for checking out this review. It's been a minute since I did a review, but uh, when I got these in hand, I felt it was necessary to do a review on these. So I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Like I always say, it costs you nothing to pay me a little mind and hit that subscribe button. Definitely uh, trying to put out good quality content for everyone. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and all that yakety yak. And I uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, check out the on foot portion for this shoe right here. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Nobody's closing me out of my business. Nobody, man. Nobody, nobody, man. Nobody, man. Nobody's pushing me anyway, okay? Nobody, man. Nobody, nobody, man. Nobody, man. Nobody, man. Nobody, nobody, man.